Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about SBIE. It's an acronym for Speaker Boundary Interference Effect. Let's look at the definition. I see a lot of this uh, in the photos that you uh, send in, uh, showing me your uh, room layout and your speaker and amplifier and listening uh, positions. And I see a lot of SBIE going on. <laughs> it's a uh, it's crazy. I, I just I, I don't quite understand uh, quite understand why I see so much of it. But um, I, I guess I can't understand why you can't why people can't hear it. Th that's the thing that uh, uh, is is problematic. But let's start with the definition and see if we can uh, get this uh, uh, kind of nailed down because it's very very critical. So you have your room, you have your speakers. Okay. We know that this area and this area are really problematic. This area is problematic for reflections, okay? And this area here is problematic for pressure. So we have two issues that we need to address, reflections and pressure. As we move our speakers closer to the wall, what do we have? We shorten this distance. So we increase both of these I issues exponentially and we just simply can't do that. People say, well, what's the minimum distance between the sidewalls? And I'm going to tell you right now, the minimum distance is four feet. Let's use that as our benchmark. Let's don't have speakers cl any closer to the wall, any closer than four feet here to the front wall and any closer than four feet to the sidewall. What happens when it gets closer? We get distortion. So the engineer that designed the speaker, he did his best, and believe me, they do a great job at creating an instrument that produces sound with hardly any distortion. Produces all the sounds, all the frequencies without distortion. Or distortion so low, you'll never be able to hear it. The amplifier will never be able to amplify it. So. When you move the speaker close to the wall and create SBIE, you negate everything the speaker engineer did to the speaker. You create this area of reflections here or interference boundary effect. You're so close to the boundary that you create higher pressure areas and a comb filtering effect between the speaker and the wall. So you produce distortion. What does that distortion do? It sounds like another speaker. It produces a phantom image. So now you have a speaker that's all about distortion, and then you have a speaker here that's all about no distortion and producing quality sound. So then these two, the phantom image and your speaker mix together. So at the listening position, you get a combination of both. And that's not what you want. Your, your room then is really working against you. So you have to be careful because it's a distortion producing situation. I see some situations where the speaker is right against the wall. Well, that's, you just can't do that. You just can't produce a, a device that's moving and vibrating against another structure that will take those vibrations and move also. So you have to be very, very careful. Let's use four feet as our minimum distance between the sidewall. I think that's a good benchmark to shoot for. Uh, not six inches, not two inches, not right against the wall, but four feet, 48 inches. Let's use that as our benchmark. Stay away from the phantom in images and we don't want to increase the pressure here. Our goal is to minimize the pressure because the higher the pressure in this area, the higher the low frequency issues and distortions become, the more treatment we're going to have to put in to solve those issues. So keep the speaker as far away from the side walls and the front wall as you can, because we got pressure and reflection issues that we have to deal with, and that produces distortion. And the last place we want distortion is right next to our speakers. You Thank you. today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, 
send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.